Hey everyone, welcome uh, to today's episode of Mail Call, and it's actually not Mail Call, but that's the name of my channel. I do do mail calls when I get mail, and I do have some mail. I'm just, I'm just waiting for a, uh, a couple more items so that I can have a, uh, a nice opening on my mail call. So, uh, what I want to talk to you today about is uh, some stuff that I scored tonight while um, <clears throat> out and about. I came across on uh, Facebook Marketplace in my local area. Um, and this gentleman had um, stuff up for sale. So, first thing I saw was, uh, and we'll get to it right away, was this here factory sealed factory sealed case 1987 tops rack packs all right kind of hard to see just the camera here. but so there's three boxes 24 rack packs per box that's 72 rack packs all together so that's one thing that i scored the next thing that i scored was complete complete 1984 tops set mint condition ready mint condition and here's the money card check out this um mattingly right that is sharp sharp corners everything about it mattingly rookie card number eight all right so let's uh backtrack a little bit so in this box here this complete set twelve dollars Twelve dollars, complete set, mint condition, nothing missing. Very nice, very sharp, very well centered, Mattingly rookie card. This case, this case over here of the Rat Packs, um, was um, seventy bucks. I paid for that. Not bad. Factory sealed Rat Packs, nineteen eighty-seven. Barry Bonds rookie card, right? Next, I scored. Um, these traded sets, all right. Tops updates, traded, whatever you're gonna call them. So 1988, <clears throat> two of them, they were um, two bucks each. Buck each, I forget what he charged. But he only charged me like two bucks tops. Yeah, those were two bucks. This one here, 1989 tops, was four bucks he charged me for this one here. Not bad. Next, I got this rack pack out of a case, but he did break the case. Unsearched, unsearched. He's, uh, what is it, 85, 1985 tops rack packs. One box. Charged me 20 bucks for this. Not bad. Good deal. Next, right here. I'm pretty excited about this one here. I have the cards. I bought the cards years ago. I had the game, all that. It, like, threw the game away and all the pieces and all that stuff. Um, and, but I was able to score one tonight. All right. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Very nice. 1987 classic Bo Jackson rookie card. It says there's in here. I looked it up on uh, YouTube. But a lot of Hall of Famers, or should be Hall of Famers, in, in here. You see, there's a Canseco, Mattingly, Donnie Baseball right there, Mike Schmidt, Wade Boggs, Dwight Gooden, Keith Hernandez, Pete Rose, and the list goes on and on and on. <clears throat> and lastly, that was 12 bucks there. Lastly, I haven't even looked at this yet. Check this out. 1971-72 tops. Mostly commons. Including high numbers, very good, excellent plus. All right, so ten bucks, ten bucks for this box. And if you guys know anything about getting these cards, it's hard to score low uh, 70s cards. So I'm just gonna dump them out here. All right, just gonna dump them out. Nice and gingerly. 1972 is like one of my like my favorite design 
cards. I don't even know what I have here. I'm just gonna flip through this up. Someone, someone colored in the uh, checklist. There's uh, in action. So let's go through this. Let's see what we got here. Anyone important or exciting? John Blue Moon Autumn, Wilbur Wood, a Reggie Smith. I'm sorry, they're sideways. Let's see if I can do it this way. Here we go. How's this? Now, some of the people consider these errors are these Cubs cards because they've got two different color designs. Like if you look at the, the Red Sox, right? For some reason, people get excited about the green versus yellow. Like they think they should be all yellow, but you can see the Red Sox is like that orange and, and yellow. The Expos are like that orange and yellow. So I don't understand, but apparently there's just different variations. So let's see what we can find with these Cubs. Like the Expos are probably all the same. The Red Sox are all the same. So let's check these Expos out. So we got the yellow, the yellow, the yellow, yellow. Little yellow stripe there. Yellow here, yellow on the side, inside the X. Little inside the E's. So Expos look all the same. So that's, that's the deal with them, all right? So I guess the only ones that really are not the same right are cubs for some reason there's a cub so we'll pull out the cubs as we go and let's see what else we got in here. Card seen some better days. There you go. Series celebration on top of the world. Pittsburgh Pirates. Manny Sanguian. Uh, I'm not a huge Pittsburgh guy, but maybe that's Steve Glass there. I'm not sure who that is. Could be Nelson Bryles. That looks like uh, Danny Murtoff, maybe, number 44. Uh, Gene Kleins, maybe. I'm not sure. Again, I'm not a Pittsburgh guy. You Pittsburgh people could probably tell. Here they colored in all of these checklists. Here's a cub. Okay. Let's take a look at these cubs. So far, all these cubs look the same. I don't see any variation there. Maybe the variations are really uh, hard to get. Manny Sanguin, Bob Vail, Bill Verdon, Doc Ellis, little, little hard roughage there. There's Steve Glass, Dodgers rookie. That card there's got a nice crease down the middle. Osteen. Nice crease across there. Crease across there. But, you know, 10 bucks. So, um, just adding to my personal collection with those. So, but they're about the same condition as my, my personal collection is. So, yeah, I don't know. Ron Bloomberg, he was like, so I'm a Yankee guy. He was my like favorite Yankee back in that in the, this era, '72 time frame. And there were other better guys, Bobby Mercer, Roy Whites, but for some reason I really gravitated to Ron Bloomberg. And a uh, little bit of baseball trivia here: Ron Bloomberg was the very first designated hitter in the history of Major League Baseball. Look it up, check it out, Ron Bloomberg. Um, this one's miscut. It's a, like a league leader card. 
Danny McLean, Doc Ellis, Vada Blue, Hall of Famer right there. This looks like a high number card. Let's see how high number it is. No, not really, 424. Bert Campanaris, Gene Tennis. Clarence Gaston, Cito Gaston, uh, Blue Jays manager for a long time. Probably best known for that. Here's another Baltimore Orioles. AL playoffs. Uh, Mark Belanger and maybe Brooks Robinson, number five, with that little short brim bill on his cap. 1971 World Series, game three, and Manny sang game. Looks like he slugged in the home. taking so long going through these but I'm looking at these for the very first time just like you are I'm sure I'm with you <clears throat> and myself at the same time so we're, we're both getting eyes full right now of kind of a lucky find here he the guy that I bought these off of selling them out of his garage and he had uh, a lot of, lot of like 80 the 84 tops, 85 tops, complete sets, $12. Actually, I'm going to head back tomorrow. I'm going to pick up a few more because he had a lot. A whole shelf full of them. So. But I'm not really seeing any really, you know, crazy um, Hall of Famer or, you know, Nice to get a Goose Gossage here. I don't know if Goose has a 72 tops or not. I think his first year was 73. <clears throat> but some eye candy for those of you who have never, never uh, seen this year card. But as advertised, it's just all commons, which I'm fine with that for 10 bucks. Can't really go wrong. Um, we're in rough shape, but overall. There's a um, Tops 1971 All-Star Rookie card. Bill Parsons. Don't think he ever did anything. Ray Fossey. Uh, career was shortened by the collision in the All-Star game with Pete Rose at home plate. Cubs. I'm not seeing any difference yet. So interesting, or they just they just were already picked out of here. I don't know. So, finish out these 72s. Looks like this will be the end of them. Felipe Alou. Tony La Russa. There you go. It's a card you don't see that often. Hall of Fame manager. Earl Williams rookie card. How about a Chris Beyer rookie card? All right. That concludes the 72. Now we have what's a 68? Checklist with um, Tony Oliva on it. It's definitely not Ron Carew. I think it's Oliva. And we go right into 71. Chico Ruiz. The boss, Bill Rigney. Let's see what we got here. Some of these are in pretty nice shape because the, the corners are pretty nice. There's not a whole lot of chipping of the black. These black border cards are just notorious for fuzzy corners and the black just flaking off pirates rookie cards angels rookie card no one there that i recognize Cubs rookie card, no one I recognize. Yankee rookie card, 
no one I recognized that really made it to the bigs. Charlie Manuel, there you go. That's a uh, former um, Phillies manager. How do you like that? Look at the young Charlie there. Ted Sizemore, young Ted there. Tim McCarver. Bring a little closer. Mike Marshall. Okay. This one's in. Oh, look at this. Ernie Banks. Fuzzy corners. But the attempt was there to uh, preserve the card. But it's definitely in a little bit rough shape. But back then, you know, we as... Uh, Kids, we took our cards out and we played with them. Some of us even stuck them in the spokes of our bikes and just ran down the road with them, making all kinds of noise like we had hot rods. So, yeah. Little did we know. So now people take a lot more care of their stuff. But then, do they really enjoy it? You know, you never know. Bill Russell. Ed Crane Poole. Here you go, the batting leaders. You got a Rico Cardi, a Joe Torre, and a Manny Sanguin. What's it say on the back of this? Yeah, you guys, everyone, all, all the guys, their stats and stuff. Another one, he put this Al Oliver in a plastic. Uh, Sleeve, like a penny sleeve. They had a lot of material missing from the corner there. Ray Fossey. Sam McDowell, good pitcher back in his time. Indians rookies. White, nice Roy White card there. Bob Watson, he was league president or something like that. President of baseball operations, maybe. I don't know. So, been through the spokes there. Cleet Boyer, old time uh, baseball player, hanging around into the 70s. Red Sox team card. There's old Brooks Robinson. Brooks Robinson commits robbery, it says on the bottom. 1970 Game 5 World Series. Brooks Robinson is one of the best defensive third basemen in the history of uh, Major League Baseball, just so you know. FYI. Jim Fergozzi, manager and or player, all-star back in his time. And uh, Brooks Robinson with a nice crease there in the... Uh, Top loader, plastic sleeve, penny sleeve. Orioles rookies. Oh, Pete Rose. Just saying. Miscut. Let's say pirates up there. It says senators on the bottom. That is miscut big time. Pirates. Gene Kleins. Fred Cambera. Cambera. Cambra. Cambra. Delancer. Ralph Houck. Old Yankee manager took over after Casey Stengel was let go by the Yankees.
Padres, Jim Williams, and Dave Robinson. Dave Concepcion, all-star shortstop for the Big Red Machine. Cardinals, rookies, off-cut, no one, Reggie Cleveland, and Luis Melendez. Ken Brett, that's George Brett's brother. Uh, 1970 AL Playoffs, Orioles celebrate a team effort. 1970 Game 3, National League Playoffs. Klein scores the winning run, game number 3. 1970 Game 2, NL Playoffs. Tolan scores for the third time. 1970 Game 3, AL Playoffs. Palmer mows him down. Hall of Famer, Jim Palmer. Looks like there was tape across there. It's got maybe a huge crease in the card or maybe even been ripped in half. I don't know. It's got tape on it. 1970 game two, AL playoffs. McNally makes it two straight. Jim Perry, brother of Gaylord Perry, who, by the way, has a World Series ring, which I don't think Gaylord has one, but Gaylord is in the Hall of Fame just by the sheer number of wins in his career. Expos, Clyde Mayshore and Ernie McNally. A's, Jim Driscoll and Angel Man Manuel. Tommy Agee sliding into second base, playing against the Astros. That may be Joe Morgan right there, second baseman for the Astros. I could be wrong, but... Rico Cardi, at the time he was the big guy, like scoring millions of votes in the all-star balloting. Jim Williams and Dave Robinson again. Oh, someone colored on that one. White Sox, Charlie Brinkman and Dick Maloney. Alvin Dark. John Blue Moon Odom, and someone colored on him with the highlighter. All right, running low here. Hopefully my battery doesn't go dead. Sorry this is taking so long, but I just wanted to share it all with you. Again, it's the first time I'm looking at them too, so. There's some repeats here now. That's fine. Phillies, Joe Liss, and Willie Montanez. Someone colored on him. They wrote Coggins or something on there. Interesting. Lloyd Colson and Bobby Mitchell. There's Ken Brett again. Marcel Latchman. Don't know who he is. Just wanted to say his name. See if I can get it right. I think I nailed it. Twins, Pete Ham and Jim Nettles. I'm not sure if Jim is Greg's brother or not. I think he is. Cardinals, Reggie Cleveland and Luis Melendez again. Bernie Smith and George Kopzak. Kop, Kopzak. Yeah, whatever. Bobby Valentine. Mets manager, I don't remember who else he managed. Mike Strayler. Frank Duffy, Milt Wilcox. How many cards really look like they were actually tied to this folks? Clyde Mayshore and Ernie McNally. Clarence Gaston or Cito Gaston. White Sox, Charlie Brinkman, and Dick Maloney. So, that clears that up. Not bad. Hey, 10 bucks. I can live with it. So, spent like 20 bucks tonight. Got some really nice cards. Um, please, uh, if you enjoyed the video, um, like, subscribe, comment, especially on what you think about paying 10 bucks for these cards here.
and um, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Um, yeah, bye.